Alright guys and welcome to Forza Horizon 2. I'm just going to do a short video on uh, a couple of the races from the Retro Hot Hatch Championship. In this uh, series of races I will be using the 1984 Volkswagen Rabbit GTI. So it's going to be quite interesting. I have fully modified this car and given it an all-wheel drive uh, drivetrain. So it's going to be quite interesting and quite fun to drive. I have driven this car before and I uh, have to say it's really really fun and really really enjoyable it's also incredibly fast oh shit <laughs> whoops ready off to a bad start it's a crazy bastard car so it is so much fun to drive this car is incredibly fast it's probably one of the fastest uh, hatchbacks I've driven in this game it's just ridiculously enjoyable and ridiculously powerful However, it does have a lot of snapback everything really, you know, one minute you're oversteering, the next minute you're understeering. It can be a bit of a handful, but it's a lot of fun. It's like a wee go-kart, so it is. You're constantly having to change direction. And we just... yep. <laughs> oh, fuck. Right. Um, yeah, hopefully there's not much of that. It's been a long time since I've played this game. This is definitely not the car you want to be driving in a, in a small uh, city environment, but definitely one of the more enjoyable small cars to drive. Shit, yeah. Well, I never built this car to be a straight machine. I just built it to be a bit of a piss tech and a drag car. You know, it's a car that I would just take to the strip and fuck about with. This car, of course, now has a lot less power. It's a lot slower, which is unfortunate. But hopefully, hopefully it isn't as much of a handful as that fucking Volkswagen Golf. I have to admit, whenever I first built it, I enjoyed it a lot more. Now I cannot drive it to save my life. So hopefully we have a better result in this thing. Yeah. This race is going to take a while. Yep, just randomly just dazily pull in front of me. Dickhead. Right. Surprised I was allowed to check that corner that way. Anyway, this is this is gonna be a very boring race to watch. Like I'm falling asleep right now at the minute this thing is this thing is complete shit. Thought if I yanked on the happy handle, I could get around that corner a lot easier, but that was that was unfortunately not the case. I was mistaken, and I ended up looking like a douchebag. Of course, this is front wheel drive, so even if I did yank on the happy handle, the chances of me making it around that corner smoothly and with some sort of speed uh, would be uh, quite impossible. Drive guitars are incredibly powerful. You can't actually, you know, you're trying to like uh, spin them off the track and they just refuse to. Ha, huh. beat that wee Jetta or Passat or whatever the hell that thing is. Got a bit close to that wall. This is nicely a bad car to drive, it's quite enjoyable. I do prefer the Wii Golf. It was more of a handful, but it was quicker. Holy shit, these boys are starting to come back at me. Fucking white problems. Jesus, son, I'll give you a fucking problem if you keep pushing past me like that. You can't. And we are coming down here, and we are across the line. Just need to do a rewind, because that bastard was pushing his way past me. He was bullying me. Can't, have, like, can't let, let him do that now. And believe it or not, no, I did not cheat. I am actually indeed level 233 or whatever. I, I promise I did not get somebody else to play on this game for me. I used to be good. Not anymore. Alright guys, for the last bit of this video, I'm going to just do a circuit race and I'm going to use the Rabbit GTI again. 
I really think we can master this car and get it around this track uh, quite efficiently. However, if that doesn't happen, don't be surprised. Like, literally don't be surprised. This car is a piece of shit, and I drive like a fucktard. So, you know, don't be surprised if this goes badly. And of course, oh yes. The car just gets off the line like nothing else. Yeah, but bastards are ready pushing at me. This is the proper way to play Forza Horizon 2. Put all the power into it. Yes. Just hold down the right trigger and fuck go. Ah, you stupid twat. Get the fucking hell off the road, you wee dickhead. Get your wee granny car out the hell. Jesus. Driving about like a fucking ma. Cunt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy shit, what the fuck happened there? Whoa. Nobody even hit me there, do it. I have no words to describe what happened there. Apart from too much power, small car, death. I would say that this is an enjoyable car to drive, but I'd be a lying bastard if I'd done that. This car fucking sucks. In a straight line? Yes, it's good. Around a corner? No. This is not the car you want to be driving. Especially because these driver tars are so much better at putting the power down and they can break so much later into the corners. I don't understand how they do that. Hackers, that's what they are. They're fucking hackers. Jesus. Jumping, Jesus. Yes, and I do love rewinding. Yes. Rewinding's good. As I would always say, if it's there, you may as well use it. Whoa, whoa, fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, well, oh shit tree. Wow. It hits a bump and then it's just like, nah. Oh, fucking hell. See what I mean? This car's just a dickhead is trying to kill me. That was a wall. Now I got close. I will admit, if you want to have something to uh, just have a bit of fun with, it's definitely the car for you. I would assume if uh, maybe you got your friends together in a lobby and each of them drove a car like this, there would be a hell of a lot of crashing and you know you could have a lot of fun with it. But for actual racing, right, it's it's a piece of shit. But guys, that's the end of it. I have to admit, it was actually a lot of fun driving this car. I quite enjoyed it. I forgot how crazy it was and forgot how much of a handful it was. But guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.